Good morning, happy Sunday everyone, how are we doing? Hope you had a pleasant Saturday. Oh, I might actually need some more chairs in here. It's getting a little bit, a little bit busy. One second, office. You can have one there. There we go. Can't have all these people walking around. AV's working good. Right, this time jump. We're going to go into the weekend now, so it's going to be a quiet couple of days anyway, so we might as well get through this. Uh, let's see. Sign to 13. You'll do. Scruffy busters can go out for this lot. Uh, up to nine. We literally have no decent jobs going today. 19. Um, no estimate on numbers for these, bizarrely. Did I finish editing the roots on Amici? What do you mean? Well, without any metric. I'm just going to put them on the small bus. Oh, you'd have to go on that one. Cool. Right, let's speed that up. It's Saturday, so it's going to be quiet. We're going to lose money. Springfield 86 is such a great bus company. Wait, what? The Springfield 86 is the route, not a company, mate. <laughs> the buses could sometimes be a little more punctual. Last thing we did yesterday. I think yesterday we created... Do you actually realize how much overtime I have to work, says Jim Eric? Wow. I have a 20 pence salary increase. Um, yeah, we created a off-peak, like a weekend timetable. That's what you mean. Uh, Jam, thank you for four months. Hannah, 93 months. Did you know 93? Oh, God, we're doing an Alex. 93 is a 28th distinct semi-prime. You've literally taken this from Alex. I'd be surprised if you even looked it up. No, it's too early for this. 93 is also the number of times I thought about getting out of bed this morning, but decided not to because it was too cozy. <laughs> Are you still in bed? <laughs> NXN, thank you for 76 months. Gabriella, thank you for five. Right, so financially, we're making reasonable dosh. But today won't be so great. Uh, please keep up the good work, says Niles. Or else, says, I ride the bus daily. You can only say they do a great job. The buses are always clean and well-maintained. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. That's the one thing we do do well. GCFT John, 76 months. D-Storm, 42 with a tier 3. Thank you, D-Storm. Good morning to you. Maybe fixing the buses. I don't need. They're all fixed. Look, they're all working really well. All my buses are in tip-top condition. You can chuck some fuel in that if you really want to. Give that a, another super clean, but they're all good. I'm just waiting to get more land so get a paint shop. Good morning, chat dot no trains today, so I'm all yours. Until I get boring and leave. Scross. Lol, Chris. We give it half an hour. <laughs> I was thinking about the map expansions as well because I was actually looking at on Google Maps um, at Chelmsford and this sector here, and we we can't go south, we can't go north. There's just going to be nothing. We can't go west. The best bet we've got is to expand east because that will give us Danbury, and the next one should give us Malden. But that's pretty much it, sadly, just because of the way the game seems to work with its sectors. It's quite a distance before you get to anything. Chelmsford kind of surrounded by fields. <laughs> so in that respect, it wasn't the best choice. My friend always went the extra mile at work. That's why he lost his job as a bus driver, Scloss. Hello, everyone, and hope you have a good Sunday, Scrove. I'll be here all with my puns, Kappa. Oh, good, Ponta boy. That wash. Keep everybody busy for no reason. Hang 
Hang on. Stop that. Up to 13. Might as well send that back out. Up to 19. This is what our Sunday service looks like. Pretty quiet. Oh, that bus is completely full. One second. Sixteen of nineteen. Oh, that's beautiful capacity. Well, I have no idea what up to eleven. That's okay. We can deal with that one. Uh, you can go on that one. Uh, 38 passenger bus, 38 passenger bus. Uh, we'll send the old Cito out. At least we're turning over a basic profit. That's good. I've informed myself for a long time again whether I cannot go to work by bus, but was always critical because it was my old city bus drove only totally rarely. Here, fortunately, that's not the case. So now I've been taking the bus for some time and I have no regrets. <laughs> Thanks, Devon. Springfield 86. Let's wait and see if a bus comes in. I don't have an available... Oh, yes, I do. Well, like Eddie Stobart, he used to keep all of his trucks meticulously clean. Oh, Mickard. Look a bit stressed. Okay, indicator, brake pads. Who's this? <clears throat> El Plagiato. Boss, I've noticed that my current salary no longer matches my skills. Maybe we could talk about salary increase. What are your skills? Advanced. The only reason you've got advanced skills is because you've been driving around in my buses? Hey, boss, I've been using your equipment to skill myself up, and now I'm more skilled up. I think you should pay me more money. Wait, what? I reckon keeping stuff clean inside is the most important because that's what the passengers see. They don't want to get inside a dirty bus. It doesn't matter if it's dirty outside, they can deal with that. But if it's clean inside, they're happy. Uh, Modern Messiah, thank you for 44 months. That's not bad. That's not bad off peak. Okay, research. Can we go east? 20 grand. Let's unlock east and see if we can pick up Danbury. Well, we just completed that. Sell 2,800 tickets, and now we've got to reach 218 active weekly ticket holders. Flipping heck. Uh, 
Weekly ticket is £26. Revenue change. Why don't we just drop... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll drop the price until the numbers go up. And then we'll put the price back up. <laughs> hey. Really, Ponta Boy? Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, we're expanding. Downloading Google Maps and OSM data. Please wait. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look what we got. You see, we didn't even reach Danbury, did we? Borum, is that it? Wow. So that means... Wait a second. Wait a second. That didn't give me a full tile. Because we already had this. We already had to here. So we just expanded east and basically got that. Which is just nothingness. So I spent 20 grand and got a load of grassland and a bit of borum. That's actually rubbish. Because Danbury is actually here. We'll never get to Malden. I think the game needs to be... Um... Yeah, there's definitely player problems here. Because... Like, depending on where you start, if you expand east or... Like, if I had started in the middle of London, I could probably expand it east or west and still got, like, huge amounts of residency and office space and roads and things like that. But when you're out in the country like this, you expand, and for your 20,000, you can't see what you're going to get. There's no preview. And what you do get, frankly, isn't worth anything. Like, that's nothing. And all of this is just dead space. And you only get a little chunk. I mean, that's not even 25% expansion. So I'd have to spend another 20 grand just to even see Danbury. The Malden is like way over here. We'll never get to it. <clears throat> you can start where you like. Yeah, but I started in Chelmsford. It's a, it's a, a consideration and a problem in itself, I think. As a player. Being restricted to 10 of them doesn't make any sense, Captain Flint. What it should do, it should expand until it until it at least detects population. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, yeah. This doesn't work. You work by Borum at the Freighter House. Chelmsford City Council's a HTV drive. Well, you know this area as well as I do then. But yeah, this is Borum, which is why this is called the Borum Interchange. And we could probably do some bus routes here, I guess. Actually, no, there are no... It's not putting any bus stops down, weirdly. Hmm. That's a bit disappointing. I attach high importance to cleanliness and must say that the underfunded Buses Limited does not disappoint. Very clean buses. Do you hear that? Um, that's one way of looking at it, total reach, but here's my problem with what you're saying. There's no preview. I can't make, like, I can't see how much it's going to expand and what that's, well, I can, the padlocks, right? But I can't see what's under here, so I can't see what I'm going to get. Do I go that way? Do I go that way? Do I go that way? If I've gone for, a, like, a random city in the world, you know, oh, let's go to Cologne. I don't know Cologne. Like, I don't know which way to go. I kind of want to see what I'm going to get to make that decision. And if I'm not going to get anything, what do I do? Oh, 
All cleaners are currently busy. Well, that's what I, I kind of did that from. I kind of looked in Google Maps and figured I'd get another tile, but I didn't get another tile. I didn't get anywhere near another tile. Let's go to Sunday. Up to five people. Woo, you can have that one then. For this wage, I'm sure I won't be here much longer, says Mikard. What about for that wage? How did you get the school design of the buses? I created it. You, ba you can upload any images into the game. So I uploaded my logo. And then created the livery for the bus. And then uploaded that to the workshop. So in theory, if you play this game um, for the Cito bus and the whatever that is. A woman sprinter. gets on the bus with her ugly baby you and the driver says that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. The women races to the back of the bus fuming. She says to the man next to her the driver just insulted me. Tharm man answered you go up there and tell him off. Go on, I'll hold your monkey for you. Catha PJ Salt. That's an old one. <laughs> the ticket prices are getting more and more expensive. That's a lie. I just discounted the weekly ticket price. What a complete lie that is. I kind of want to put the bathroom, like, back here. <laughs> Just have people walk a long corridor to it. <laughs> Old but gold. Auto 24, current utilization. Insert additional bus. Interesting. I think the, the characters in the game spend too much time running around. It looks a bit odd. Like you just like watch one person. They just kind of walk here, then they walk there, and they walk here, walk there. You know, it's just weird. Somebody just complained about the friendliness of a bus driver. Speaking of bus drivers, we've not hired a friendly one for a while. That's because there aren't any. I 
I think they should allow time acceleration even faster than this, because like there's not a lot you can do at this point. You have to just let the day play out. Flippin' heck, did we make two grand on a Saturday? That's amazing. I would like it if I didn't have to stand so often. That's what legs are for. Right. In comes another bus. Go back out again. Uh, you can add your own bus stops here. Yeah. When you're creating a route, you can tell it specifically where to stop. what we need 100 trophies we're 84 if we get these two done here we'll be able to expand the company premises i think we'll get that one on monday or tuesday when it's busy i don't know if you can train this to be more friendly benna you can train them but it's like two thousand pounds which is Put it this way, on a, on a peak on a peak day, we're making eight or nine thousand, and it's two thousand to train an employee. And when you train them, inevitably they'll turn around and say, "I'm more skilled now. I think you should pay me more money." So it takes a quarter of your profits to train one staff member, and then they'll ask for more money every day. Sure thing, Upper Case. Where, where are you based? We'll send a bus over now. This blue one's available. Are there any weather effects? Not seen any. I tell dad jokes, but I have no kids. I'm a faux pas, Clutty. You're just practicing for when you're a dad, aren't you? That's what you're doing. The reason not all my buses don't have my design, DJ, I'll tell you why. It's a simple explanation, right? When you buy a bus brand new, you can put whatever livery you want on it. And then the bus arrives with that livery. If you buy a bus on a second-hand market, then the only way to put your livery on it is if you have a paint shop. And a paint shop is about that big. It's pretty big. I literally have nowhere to put a paint shop. And so these buses were bought second-hand, yeah? And I haven't been able to put the livery on them because I don't have a paint shop. Once I get a bigger premises, maybe... We can buy a paint shop and paint them all up. But for now. I'm a Swede. Imagine me and Ikea using all the names in there for my puns. Lol. <clears throat> Five stars. Best bun company. The best bus company I've ever seen. They are on time, never late, which is hard to find with other companies. That's, that can't be true. That might be true on a weekend. On time and never late.
Ikea should build a hotel with all their own furniture they sell in store. <laughs> I doubt they'd do that. Because they know it wouldn't last very long. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think they're going to do that. That's not what they're about. Sort of put a door there, people will walk through like that rather than go around. Oh, that would be fun here, though. Discount room rates if you assemble your own furniture before you sleep. That'd be great. Yeah, normally, sir, the room's £60 a night, but for you, it's £30 if you assemble the bed and the sideboard before you go to sleep. <laughs> Instructions have been left. But they're just pictures. <laughs> Bring your own screwdriver. Right, end of Sunday. Good. Two stars, no comment, just two stars for no reason. Scumbag. Oh my god, we lost money today. How did we make money on Saturday and lost money on Sunday? Our ticket sales were massively down. Why is Sunday different? Football on the telly, I don't know. Right, that's more like it. Um, 32 packs maximum. We could give it to the 30. Or to the 38. Twenty six can go to the Hoping we'll get this this time. Oh, I know where that is. That's the yeah. There's um. Toby Carver. No, hang on. No, there's Toby Carvery here. There you go. That's a Toby Carvery. And that depot here, that there is the Royal Mail. When I used to have a P.O. box, that's where it all used to go. Right there. That's Royal Fail. Right there. And there's a screw fix behind here somewhere. That used to be a Toyota dealer, but it's now Ford. That's a big Range Rover dealer. That's an Audi dealer. 
That's a tiling shop. B and Q. Map is accurate, yeah. It loads it from OSM. Yeah, it loads it from OSM and then it generates bus stops, although I don't know how accurate they are. Because I don't take the bus, I don't really know where the bus stops are, really. Actually, I could probably... That's the Miami roundabout. There's a... There's a bus lane down there. There's a bus stop here somewhere. That's not on. And there's definitely one here. Because this is a school. There. St. Anne's Prep School. There's definitely a bus stop here. That's, an, that's a bus lane down there. So it's definitely missing stops. That's Molsham Street. There's like a million shops down there. I need four more tickets. It uses original data. What do you mean original data? I think the streets are accurate. The buildings are accurate. I don't think the bus stops are. I don't know how it's working that out. But for example, it pulled in Borum and doesn't have a single bus stop. Well, I can almost guarantee that along this road, there will be more than one bus stop. Stopper's got four waiting for West Chummer 55. I don't see any stops being overloaded yet. Three out of five stars have experienced better bus companies. Well, good for you. Go and use them, then. Oh, El Plagiato's a bit stressed. So's Heyman. We've got a few stressed drivers here. Yay, we just got more points. We sold all the weekly tickets. That means we can jack the price back up. Real satellite data, bus stops and points of interest from OpenStreetMap, copy from Microsoft page. Yeah, like it's just not working very well for points of it for the bus stops then. They're just a hundred percent not accurate. They can't be. What have we unlocked? We've unlocked better food for your employees. Reduce prices for replacement parts by 10%. That sounds good. Can we queue that as well? We're back to 80 grand. So we've almost got the money back that we wasted by expanding east. But I got a feeling that if we expand east again, I'm hopeful that we'll hit Danbury. I think that's the start of Danbury. I'm not entirely sure how far it is. Let me have a look on Google Maps. I 
There's that. Okay. That bit's there. That's that junction there. So the road then goes like that, then like that, and Danbury's here. So yeah, I think it will unlock Danbury. Which is not a particularly big town. It's only a small town, really, but it's quite a nice town, Danbury. Thirty-seven. You can go into that one. Good bus company, however, the drivers seem a bit grumpy. It might be because they're stressed. <laughs> Drives the bus from 4.50 a.m. till 3 in the afternoon, non-stop, no brakes allowed. Meanwhile, we've got people just resting and walking around. <laughs> I hope the game, when it allocates drivers, is picking up the people who are least stressed. Because I'm just, like, letting it automatically choose the driver. I'm not really looking at that. The most professional and customer service oriented bus company I've ever seen. Amazing. Oh, we haven't got anybody. I have to wait for that. Complete one repair and maintenances. Well, that's easy. Snow Leopard, thank you for 39 months. It's your birthday today. Well, happy birthday to you. You doing anything special? Oh, I need some buses to come back. This is not great. Yeah, you see how it picks the driver automatically. It's going to pick Mickard. Mickard is... Stressed. Why would it do that? This guy's walking around. Harm's walking around, not stressed, and it automatically picked Mickard. It's not going to make me micromanage that, is it? Doing all right, Andy Lad, thank you. Bus got a flat tire, that'll be that one. Okay, lights, oil, flat tire, go. Check our part situation here. We have no tire sets left. Four indicators, well, I'll order a couple of them. Wipers. Two of them, four of them. Who did I say wasn't... Like, why can't you give me some information here? Tell me... Like, show me a list of bus drivers and their stress levels. This is bizarre. See, Onomichi is very stressed. I think we might have to hire some more, you know. Right, who wants to be a driver? Bus drivers. Done. 
and I will put you in the bus straight away. So you will drive that one. That course assigned. We're almost on 100. Increase your bus network. Create more bus routes to connect 60% of buildings. Points of interest to your bus service. Afterwards, use buses on tile. Afterwards, use buses on the new routes. Oh, man. I don't really want to add more routes yet. We need more buses for that. And we don't have enough parking. That's going to have to wait. We need this to complete first. Chucky Shrews, thank you for 33. Excess for 104 months. I think I missed you out. I'm sorry. Thank you for 104 months. I take it you have got your VIP badge, Excess for. Right, we've almost unlocked. We'll keep. We'll save the money for now. We won't expand east. We'll uh, expand this thing. We'll extend the road down there. We'll have more bus stops. Could also in theory remove that wall and then that would allow a large lifting here. I think you are limited to one depot, yeah. I don't see how you could manage another depot at the same time. It, that would be really tricky. I think if you want a different depot, you have to start again somewhere else. Yeah, we're going to make it larger. Once this completes here, we'll get nine trophy points. That will take us over the 100 that we need to then research the can find it expand company premises 100 trophies and 30 grand and that could be done three times by the look of it so we need the trophies to unlock this then we can research it and then we can expand the premises Remove the double road along the fence and put some parking there. You can't touch anything outside. This boundary here, you can't do anything. Like you can, you can destroy things within this boundary, but you can't touch anything outside. None of this is ours. This is our premises inside this wall. And you can't even touch this stuff. You can put trees down, but you can't actually build on it. You think he means the front of the washing machine? You mean this, this bit or this bit?
you, you, I don't I don't think you can, mate. See, because like, it's really weird the way the road tiling works. You, you can't actually build here at all. Like it has to snap to that tile, and it can't because that's here. So you can do that, but you can't then build anything here. So you have to wait till the wall moves and then snake around, if that's what you mean. You can't snake it around yet. It looks like you can, but the game won't let you. You have a two two square wide road in front of where the buses enter the washing station. What, here and here? Yes, I do. So what you're thinking? That we could, like, demolish tiles here and have things go around it. Use this space here. Is that what you mean? We've got three tiles there that we could get rid of. But one tile is just about long enough for a short parking bay, I think. That's about it. So we couldn't get a medium, but we could do a short, I think. You can use the grass. You can't use the grass. I don't think. You can't, I don't think you can build here. Look, let's do it. I'll show you. Um, let's get rid of that tile. Streets. Oh, will let you. Uh, my bad. I genuinely assumed it wouldn't let you do that because it won't let you build a tile there, but it will let you back up onto it. Not with a large though. But you can. You could put a medium though. Only one. Get rid of the tree. I hate these like dead spaces that you get though. It's actually really annoying the way it works. So you could do that. I think that's what you meant. They do, Vrome, but, you know, if we build a short parking space and a medium, it's, it's, like we can't do anything else here anyway, so we might as well build a medium. Let's fuel you up. Right, 32. Let's put the 32 in the Cito. Let's put the 33. Let's put the 30 in there as well. 28, 29. I don't think we have a 30, do we? Do we have a 30? Yes, we have a sprinter. Kind of wondering if we swap our get more sprinters and drop the number of masters that we have. Like another sprinter right now would be pretty nice. Hang on, let's see if we can get by a sprinter. So a second hand sprinter, four and a half grand. Needs a V belt and some oil. 
Other than that, we'll save some dosh. Oil and V-belt's not going to cost much. Should we send an offer of 4,300? Yay! <laughs> we'll save 200, and with the money we saved, we can repair it. Chuck you in that. Chuck you in that. Oh, needs to clean though, doesn't it, eh? Now, can they do this before we need that bus? Oh my god, this is going to be close. I don't think we're going to do it. That is taking way longer than I thought it would. Rip. I have to give it to this one. I can't, it's done. No! That's almost ready. It's almost ready. Come on. Come on. Off the ramps. Come here. Yes. <laughs> it can get some fuel when it next comes back. In fact, we can probably chuck it in for fuel now. Or not. Underfunded buses is great. Five stars are actually still too little. Okay. Or City on Chelmsford. Hello, boss. I wanted to inform you that I've received an offer from another company of better pay. Andy, the mechanic. My salary is not increased, although so unfortunately have to accept the offer. All right, you do a decent job. We'll give you a little bit of a pay rise. Are there any friendly bus drivers for hire? Ooh. Edmund. Very friendly. Not very reliable, but really friendly. Take you on. Who wants to be a bus driver? <laughs> Nuke Chef. You got that first. Nuke Chef. Driver. Does true friendly exist? Very friendly and not very reliable. Hang on, increase your bus now. Carry 4,000. Okay, we can still do that. That's fine. Apparently they'll not. Oh, expand the company premises. Let's do it. Reduce wear and tear by 10%. Reduce fuel consumption by 10%. They all sound worth having. I'm not going to do the bendy bus yet, but I might spend seven grand and get this one done. Wow, we're down to 50 grand. Look at this. That's pretty brutal. Need to make some more profit, guys. Bus routes. Actually, what it's bus routes here, isn't it? There we go. So, least profitable line is that one, the Melbourne 17. That only makes three grand. Some of the other ones are making like 10, 12 grand. So we kind of need to triple the profit on that line. On the Melbourne 17.
Where's that root go? That is really hard to see. Honestly, they need to make this a lot clearer. You can barely see the color. Why does I, I don't know why that line doesn't make much money. Two lines of red coming uh, and morph insert a bus. I don't know. So right now, my question is, I'm looking at this line. It's only earning three grand a day. The others are earning 12. Why? Why does this only earn three grand? How can I make it earn 12? What is it about this line that's not earning money? Too many stops? Not enough stops? Stops in the wrong places? What what can I look at to improve this this whole line? Maybe it just does too much. I don't know. But putting a putting a smaller bus on it is not going to bring us more revenue. We need more customers. I think we take some stops out. We'll take out Melbourne shops for a start. We'll have a go there instead. Oh, God. How can I make it? What was the previous stop? That one. So after that one, go there. Then don't go to West Avenue. And then don't go to Town Groft. Like, are we stopping too frequently, maybe? Looks like the bus is already running late, which stops people using it to maybe play around the timings. What was you looking at to see the buses are always running late? Is it the, the column with all the pluses on it? That Berwick Avenue. Let's get rid of that. Making double back now, that's so annoying. Let's maybe try that. That's um game why would you come this way to do that when you can go that right after melbourne school i want you to go to partridge avenue then king's road there we go right let's commit that Forty five to one twenty, twenty five to ninety. That that looks all right. That looks like a reasonable amount of packs, doesn't it? I like that. Let's 
start at 5.30 when the upswing comes in. Right, let's try that. I don't have a night bus now. Switch, that was Melbourne 17, wasn't it? Which is now that. 10 minute delay. Average delay 10 minutes. Why was that getting absolutely smashed at that time? Uh, Josh Bosch, thank you for 69 months. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm, an I'm a valuable, irreplaceable part of this company. Instant demand to be paid appropriately. Thank you, Joseph. Andre, thanks for 18. Youngstar, thank you for 75. Chucky, 33. Thank you, guys. It could be school kids. Um, looking at these profitable lines here, they don't have many delays. They could probably do with another bus at peak times, though. Look at this. Bado 24. That one's okay. Hospital 142. So that's, I don't understand this because that's not making any money. It's got delays going through. Let's have a look at this. So the delays. Edit the route. I mean, mm, I'm not entirely surprised it's got delays on that line. That road is not good. How much money was it making? Five grand. Insert additional bus. Right, so we've added an extra bus to that whole route. Let's see how it gets on. Bit of a learning curve. Uh, look to the right, so you're having delays because you can't pick up all the other people before. Hang on, where was I when you said that? Was that, was I on here? Utilization rate of bus. Do you, do you mean this one? Do you think maybe we just add another bus to the line then? Is that what you're saying? it's overutilized at rush hour. I'm not sure what you mean by you say look to the right. He just carried 44 of 50, 32 of 37, 35, 43. Is that? I don't understand what this is saying. 35 over 43. That means we could carry 35, but there was 43 available? I'm not sure what that's telling us. Standing versus sitting. I can't be 30 people standing. Game's early access. Don't normally get manuals with early access games.
Have you had the bus and spice become permanently unusable bug yet? Don't believe so. <laughs> what was that? Ha ha! Oh yeah! Now we've got room to expand. You could actually move things around now if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm watching the monies, don't worry. It's uh, Tuesday. Five grand profit so far, not so bad. Kind of worried about what this line's going to do now. Since we've changed things. Look, we're not earning money here. The additional bus is earning nothing, which is not good. Not good. Are a savage. Imagine having savage as a surname. New bus unlocked. The Lion City 12C. Let's have a look at that. That's a 92 packs non-articulated bus. Required parking space medium. 18,900. That's a big boy. 92 packs. I like that. Hmm. Really could do with some more sprinter things. Sprinters seem to be a good size for us. Ninety six, but only thirty to sit. Really? Is that what it said? Wow. 62 people stood up. Really? And this one, 140, but 44 seating. That's insane. That does not sound like a fun journey to me. Tires, brake pads, and oil. That's not bad. Just brake break belts. No, that's actually good value, that one. See if we can uh, knock 300 quid off. Hey. That one's almost new. It's a Ryanair style bus. <laughs> Not a very clean bus, but I think we can clean it up before um, we use it. How much was it to buy a paint shop? 9,300. Uh, 
All you need is a locker. Thanks, game. Oh, it's put him the wrong way. <laughs> I was trying to hire some more bus drivers. They're all so unfriendly, though. I know some workers are stressed. Like... Right, well you start for uh, twelve ninety, mate. No, thirteen twenty. Don't want you too grumpy. Alex is stressed. Apparently, he's literally doing nothing, but he's stressed. Maybe he's stressed doing nothing. It's all the bus drivers who are stressed, but we've just added some more to the pool now. Um, hang on. I didn't ask if anybody wanted to be a bus driver. I'll have none of this preemptive please me nonsense. 37. That can go in... No, you can't even go in there. Is this what Rishi Sunak feels like? Well, A, that sounds political, and B, I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, yeah, Hannah. You'd be fine. You'd be... How hard could it be? At least you wouldn't be so grumpy. Delay assignment. I'm going to have to put it to one of our big buses. No, nope, we've got one there. Can we wait a bit longer? Yes. Oh, no. I need a 19, really. There he is. You'll do. Dave M984. Tier 2, 100 months. Your driver was rude and grumpy on my journey to the hospital and not professional at all, squirrel buses. I'm never getting squirrel buses again. Wow. Dave, congrats on 100 months. I think I need to fire up Twitch now, don't I? Because you, sir, have earned a VIP badge for 100 months. Let me find you. There we go. Make sure we get the right name. Add new Dave. Right, four. VIP. Save. Right, say something in chat, Dave. See if you got your badge now. Thank you for 100 months. That's epic. There you go. Hey. Congrats on the badge. The buses are immaculate. I'm not exaggerating. I made my commute to work so much more comfortable. Our buses are well maintained. 
Might hire another cleaner. It's becoming a bit annoying. Cleaner. Build additional office or expand the office to hire. Really, game? Really? 